Hey you guys and welcome to this reading. So um, I don't even know who I'm going to be reading for yet. I'm going to let my cards decide so you will know before me by the title of who I'm reading for obviously and like what the reading is going to be about. So we have house one flipping out. House one talks about individuality, self image and approach to life. So really coming into your own skin could be switching up your style your appearance um changing your perspective we have house 10 which talks about structure discipline life mission accomplishments and career so that's a lot we go from house 1 to house 10 so i feel like you have a lot going on you have your mind on a lot of things but i feel like it's good it's structured and i have my lovely pisces coming out Pisces energy talks about intimacy, intuition, and compassion. So this reading is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And I'm going to see what's going on with you guys within the next seven days. Okay. They could be changing jobs or really like career focused. We have the Empress coming out in reverse. I love the Empress. I even love her when she's in reverse because this tells me that, you know, things like you could actually be in a position where things are not really growing for you. And that's why you're really focused on like yourself and where you're going, where you're headed, North Node energy. And we could be switching jobs. That's what I was going to say. Um, and you could also definitely needing to nurture yourself and tend to yourself and your garden a little bit more. So we have Virgo energy coming out, also with the Empress, Taurus, and Libra. Um, with the Hermit in reverse, this is definitely like kind of going in your shell, just kind of going Hermit mode, and just kind of relaxing, um, listening to you know the sounds of nature, listening to the birds outside, getting a sun bath, being under the stars at night cooking a good meal, being around family if you're able to. Because I feel like you're needing to do some healing here. And in order to heal, we kind of need to not be so busy possibly. And it's kind of like you're trying to be busy, but it's not really productive because you're not, um, you know, um, you're not really all the way there. You're not really nurtured. You're not really you know taking care of yourself as you should be with all the things that you have going on so um and even i i posted this yesterday on my snapchat because i saw uh this mural and it said rest on it and then i posted on snapchat that the rest is just as important as the grind so as hard as we work it's just as hard as we need to care for ourselves and just kind of chill out and restore that energy we need to recharge our batteries here so we have the page of wands coming out with the four of pentacles this is starting something new i feel like you're starting a new business possibly starting um thinking about starting something new but again, you're needing to heal here with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Emotions are, you know, not stable. You're overwhelmed. You're anxious. The hangman, you're wanting to see things from a different perspective. The Six of Cups on the back of the deck, you know, talks about memories, possibly being nostalgic. But I feel like you're really thinking about this. The Knight of Swords to the Three of Swords. Really in your head about, you know, your heart is not really your heart is needing to heal your heart is a little bit sad you're a little bit you know taken aback about whatever has happened here um can you tell me more about pisces so we have the king of cups here so we have the king and queen of cups here <coughs> Two of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. So 
So you could be dealing with this King of Cups. You could be dealing with another wa water sign. Um, and I feel like this King of Cups is upset. Just as you are, they are upset because I feel like they've done something here. And that has caused this tower moment. And I feel like you're possibly looking at the situation like, you know, what do I do? Like, where do I go from here? Could be some infidelity, third party situation. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. That's like a happy home being broken up. People really not being happy. So this King of Cups is not happy. I feel like they know that they fucked up. The Six of Cups coming out. So I feel like you're dealing with someone else here, like I said. You could be in a relationship. King of Wands in reverse. That's not trustworthy energy. But the Two of Pentacles are juggling over here. They juggled your heart. They juggled you dealing with other people. And justice in reverse. So I feel like this King of Cups was definitely giving like attention to other people. And now you're fucked up in the head about it. Six of Swords in Reverse, Ace of Wands, King of Swords. They could be wanting to communicate with you. Tell me about Pisces. Nine of Cups. Knight of Cups in Reverse, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles in Reverse, Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands, The Sun in Reverse, The Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, The Five of Swords, Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. Um, so we started off with the knight, the nine of cups, and the six of swords. I mean, I feel like this person like can't let you go. They know that they fucked up. Um, and I feel like you want violence, you want revenge. You're, I feel like you're going to try to like... I feel like you get the last laugh with this Five of Swords and the Queen of Wands because you're 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 feeling definitely upset, obviously, and I feel like this person is like just selfish and only thinking about themselves, untrustworthy, and it's like at the end of the day, the person who you know, if you fuck up, like if you do something that's not graceful, that's not good, that's not godly, you know, you're gonna get the consequences for it, and I don't, I feel like this person is in the wrong. Like, if you wanted to break up a happy home so badly, then why couldn't you have done it, like, in a noble way? Why did you have to be sneaky about it with the Seven of Swords, you know, being prideful? Like, I feel like they think that they're right when they're not. Can you tell me anything else about Pisces? Page of Cups in reverse. You cannot just be, you could be wanting to move on now. Like it's like, okay, Ten of Wands in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse. King of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. So this what what this is telling me is that you're in like okay I totally like can empathize with you with being upset and being triggered by someone who has you fucked up. Like this person definitely like cheated. There's some like infidelity here. 
you know whether that's with another person or them just like lying about the shit that they were doing um them just doing things that are going to make them happy and not caring about how you feel about it and i feel like you're in between being upset about it and not moving forward i feel like you're stuck here between you know thinking about this person and having your emotions with this person and just like going throughout your day just being like a fucking simp or you have the option to boss the fuck up take control of what you're really wanting to do and just do that shit because we have the queen of wands and the king of pentacles coming out for your energy and what this tells me that you can literally attract whatever you want right now manifestation vibes are on like 10 with the queen of wands but the king of pentacles is going to be very abundant for you it's going to be very stable from you whatever you do whatever you decide to do i feel like from this point can either be very prosperous very abundant bring you a lot of stability a lot of happiness a lot of you know um peace of mind um and then i feel like from this lifestyle you're going to be attracting more things than you could ever imagine or you could be stuck literally and not move forward the knight of pentacles in reverse does not fucking budge because he's not taking the practical steps to move towards his goals he's just not moving at all he doesn't want to get up he has his head in the gutter the ten of wands is just kind of dropping the ball not not um you know progressing even though it's hard and then the seven of pentacles in reverse is again not you know no growth here this person is not growing his little farm his he's not watering his pentacles i'm gonna get an oracle card for you Can you give me an oracle card for Pisces, please? Can you give me an oracle card for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this reading? We have the energy is gaining momentum. And we have bring love into the situation. We also have a win-win outcome as forecast on the back of the deck. The win-win is you bossing the fuck up. I feel like you're needing to just, you know, just because someone did you wrong doesn't mean that you don't have any more love to give. It just means that you know, you know, what you're not going to be putting up with anymore. And you're just going to focus on yourself and loving yourself so that the next person knows how to love you because you love yourself so greatly. And I feel like that's where this house one comes in with individuality, self-image, and approach to life. I really feel like you're thinking about, you know, moving differently, embodying a different, you know, persona, perspective, really, you know, taking control of your fortune. Um, and with the house 10 talking about structure and career and, you know, life mission, you're really, you know, you don't want to put up with bullshit. Like, I feel like you could have thought that this was like a really, like that this relationship was going to go for somewhere. You weren't wasting your time for nothing. But being by yourself and being single and accomplishing things while single, I feel like is the best. Because then from that point, you know that you don't, you're not codependent, that you can do things on your own. You already have stability on your own anything else would just be an addition then this affirmation says i respect and love myself by resting my mind body and soul regularly and i love that because that's what i said in the beginning with the empress card that turned into be you know you're needing to rest and heal because this person has you fucked up okay and also when we rest and heal regularly you know when people do shit that's out of line we don't really need to go through a whole like healing phase because we heal on the regular we're always you know recharging our batteries on the back of this card it says being busy all the time does not mean you are being productive rest is an important part of progress i don't know if i said that earlier that you could have just been like doing a lot but not actually being productive i don't know if that was you or another reading that i did but 
that's what I have for you Pisces I hope you enjoyed it please let me know in the description box um, subscribe to my channel if you're already subscribed I love you um, I hope that you you know move forward making the right decision and bossing the fuck up getting to the bag um, and yeah let me know if you just like ever need to talk or anything I will definitely like message you or whatever but I hope you guys have a beautiful next seven days oh I forgot that I thought that was about the next seven days so I feel like, you know, that's just the decision you're needing to make within the next seven days is just to, you know, move forward in your grace, in your power, and do what it is that you know that you need to do. Because you coming up as the king of pentacles and a queen of wands, I know that I'm talking to someone that's smart, that like, if you, you get it, you get it, you get it, you get it. So I love you guys and have a beautiful week. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.